Hi, I'm Scott Pooley, the Assembly Technician here at Cambium Networks, and today I'm going to show you how to connect up your 450M to your LPU whilst maintaining a weather, weather tight seal, as water ingress, dust ingress, and general weathering can cause issues with your network if you haven't connected this correctly. When you receive your LPU in the box, you will have drop cables and EMC glands that are required for this installation. Firstly, you want to get your drop cable, which should look, should resemble this. You want to get your drop cable and you want to get one of your EMC glands. First, we need to attach the EMC gland to the LPU drop cable. In order to do this, you will need to disassemble the EMC gland into its component parts where you will have the cap, a rubber insert, a plastic collar, a metal ring, metal piece that looks like this, and the base. Then to attach the EMC gland to the drop cable, you first put the cap on, narrow end first. You then clip the rubber insert around the cable because it already has a split in it, like so. You then slide the plastic collar down fingers first and insert the rubber insert into the plastic collar. You then slide the metal ring on wider end first like so. Then the metal piece with the four fingers, fingers first, and then make sure that these fingers are inserted inside the metal collar, a metal ring, like so. And then finally put the base of the gland on the drop cable longer thread first, like so. Then you insert the metal pieces into the base of the gland, then the plastic insert, and finally the cap on top and twist it a couple times loosely in order to hold all of the pieces together, but do not tighten at this point. And once you have attached the EMC gland to the drop cable, it should look something like this. The base needs to be tightened to five newton meters. Make sure to hold the drop cable while you do it so that it doesn't twist. At five newton meters, that creates one part of the weather tight seal. Next you need to tighten the cap until the rubber insert is seen pushing through the hole in the cap. Again holding the drop cable to make sure that it doesn't twist. As you can see the rubber, the rubber insert is pushing through now. And then we repeat we repeat the same on the end that goes into the LPU. Separate the gland into its cap, into the plastic and rubber inserts. metal inserts and 
base of gland. And again, we drop the cap on first, clip the rubber ring in, drop the plastic bit, fingers down so that it's, and then insert the rubber ring into that. Then the ring wide end first, then insert the metal bit with the four fingers and make sure the fingers sit inside the narrow end of the metal ring. And finally, the base. Insert your RJ45. Partially screw in the base of the gland. Push the inserts in and hold in place with the cap. Tighten the base to five newton meters, making sure that the cable doesn't twist. And then tighten the cap until the rubber insert is pushing through the cap. And then repeat this with your second drop cable going down to your network cabinet or wherever it will go next. But that is now connected up to your LPU and weather tight.